Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another American Truck Simulator. Um, I just picked up this job right now. So we're going to be going from Albuquerque, New Mexico to Dallas, Texas. I know you guys probably didn't see that part of the, you know, the map and stuff like that, because I didn't know it exists, too, until I got the mod. And yeah, we're about to do this right now. So let's drive. We got to drive to our next location. Let me actually hit a U-turn. I had to drop off some over here. And what the hell is that? Oh, that's a dog. I was like, what is that? And also, guys, I did purchase like a new garage where I'm going to be able to. I think is I'm in Tus Tuscan or something like that. And I'm going to try to purchase another one so I could be good where I won't have to like drive to like you know, I drive really far just to get like certain jobs that I want. <clears throat> By the time I'm done with all this, you know what I want to drive? I want to drive to Georgia because <laughs> I know it's on the map now, too. I mean, you guys probably seen how the map is so far. Like it's a huge map now. It's not just Mexico. Remember when we got the release for Mexico? Now nah, it's a huge map. Look at that. Can we go to New York, too? Yes, we can. Damn, we can go anywhere we want. Sooner or later, I'm going to have to go to Atlanta, but yeah, let's get back to it. I think this might be like a long drive, but they, they pay well. Why not? Right? And I'm going to try my best to follow the traffic rules, except for speeding because I'm I don't know. Speeding is just I don't know. I don't know. It's I guess it's just my thing, especially in American truck simulator. We're not even in real life, so Oh no, speeding is just something that I can't avoid. <laughs> Even though our max is what 89 mile per hour, maybe 90. I haven't done like anything higher on this truck yet, but we'll see. Anyway, how's you guys week going so far? What you guys been up to? You guys already know, man. I'm always checking on y'all. Um, the comment section. I'm trying to get back to like commenting more often now too. Whoa, I almost said that sign. That was close. That was cool. I'm trying to comment more on the um, you know comment section and stuff like that at least for at least for the first hour of the video release and stuff like that are we good yes we clear and also you guys already know how youtube like i could bypass yeah i don't have no trailer like that i'm bypassing that way trace um way station yeah, let's remove that i like the little map man yeah as far as youtube you guys already know that's i mean i try my best to just drop at least two videos for you guys. And I know some of you guys like other games, just like I'm playing this right now. ATS It's just like one of my other. I don't know. I, lo I love doing this in real life. I mean, with a with a regular car. I don't know if I could do it with a truck. I don't know. Definitely big up power to all the people that do this with a truck, but I don't know if I could do it with a truck. I mean, every time I think about it, I'm like, damn, you have to be alert at all time. That's why they make sure these drivers and they, they actually give them ticket if they don't sleep enough because you have to make sure that you are alert at all time. I'm not saying like you're not going to be alert in a regular car, but there's certain things that you just can't do. Like right now, I don't have a trailer. That's why I'm driving this way. But if I had a trailer, I would have to be careful at all time. And my mic is, is in my way. Driving one hand. All right. There you go. I think I got the mic fixed now. Okay, there you go. All right, the the mic was actually blocking my map. But yeah, guys, um, what game would you guys want to see on this channel? Like other than American Truck Simulator, GTA? Uh, have we done uh, NBA 2K? I never got a chance to do um Madden like that. I mean, hey, it's over, man. We already know who won now. Um. What else? Uh, Fortnite. A lot of people have been asking for that. I'm going to try my best to just probably get DCP and a couple of you guys to play it. We'll see. But other than that, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not a big Fortnite fan. Maybe because I haven't played that much. Maybe I, I haven't put that much hours in it yet. But maybe you never know. You never know. I remember like I, sometime when you just like, oh, I'm not playing this game. And then when you get a chance to play, it's like, what was I thinking? 
I hope Fortnite is gonna be like one of those type of games. Because I did download it already. I just never got a chance to like, you know, start it up or whatever. And also finally, I mean, you guys already know that I got my Xbox and stuff like that, so I was thinking about getting GTA for the Xbox One where because there's a lot of people that have it for Xbox and that don't have it for PC. And when I'm playing online, you're like, what you playing on? Are we playing on that? Oh no, I'm I'm good. I'm good. Oh shoot, yo, I almost hit the cop. You guys didn't see that. Talking about cops, guys. All right, so I was going to the mall. Um, like there's like a, a little ramp as you get off. Um, I guess you get off the exit, then there's a little ramp like right before the mall, or whatever. What? Oh shoot, he got me. Let's wait, wait. I thought this truck can can go higher than that. I thought I reached my max speed. Still got me with a ticket. You guys didn't see that. Yeah, so I was taking that ramp and I decided then you know, sometimes you just and this GTR, this GTR just push you to the limit sometimes. It's like, come on, I need speed. I need speed. Cause you can hear all the mechanical stuff going going when you when you kinda like slow down and stuff. When you driving the GTR slow, it's like, come on man, drive me. Drive me. That's what it does to you. Cause you're hearing like all the mechanical stuff like click click click. I'm like, damn. But when you're driving that thing fast, you don't hear none of that. You don't hear none of that. But I decided, you know, just step on it for a second. You know, it's just it's just fun. It's just fun for me. And it was a clear road. Nobody was on that street or whatever. And I thought he was gonna stop me. He was at the corner by the light, just waiting to spot people. And he didn't stop me. I was like, was I lucky? Was he just not in the mood to go after a GTO at that time or whatever it is? But he didn't stop me. I was like, OK, is this like a present for me or just like, yo, you lucky just go on. And I just trying to play it off like I didn't do anything wrong because I know I just step on the gas down the block and you could hear me coming. You can actually hear me coming. So I know he definitely heard me because he was at the corner. That's when I stopped. Like I'm talking about like I stopped dead stop. You can actually make um right on red. But I stopped at the light because I was going to just, you know, slow down and just keep going. When I saw him step on the brake so hard. And I know he saw that. He probably was just laughing like, yeah, I'm going to let him go. He didn't do anything wrong. I, I mean, he did something wrong, but he's going to the mall or whatever because I had to make the right turn to um in the mall. But I don't know. I feel like I got lucky. I really don't play with that. Um, and one thing for sure, you guys already know. If I'm gonna do like speed like that, I always try my try my best to just take the car to the tracks, man. Get that going and oh construction zone. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. And over here 75 anyway, but still. Construction zone. Saw that cop over there too, man. Is that a cop up there too? Yep. Gotta be. Anyway, we picking up the stuff, guys. I'm not sure if this video is going to last like I think we might just pick up the stuff and call it. Maybe we'll finish this video next time. I didn't expect it was going to take that long to drive over there, but hey, we driving without a trailer, right? That's OK. I don't want to pass the cop now. I don't want to pass this too. Come on, take the next exit. Anyway, um, talking about cops. Let's keep going about that. Um, I was on the highway. There was like a Corp LC. Uh, uh, one of those new Corvette or whatever. And I guess he was just trying to like taunt me and oh, this is our exit. Yes, it is. He just wanted to see me just step on the gas for him for a bit. And I'm like, no, man, just go, go because, uh, you know, you could get the alert from cops, especially I have my radar detector and all that. So I don't know if he, ha he didn't have one, but I was just driving. I know there's a there's a cop a couple miles away and guys. My best friend right now, especially with this car, is Waze. Waze, I don't know, for some reason, is always accurate because I feel like everybody share everything when it comes to Waze. And I'm happy because I, I, I always share everything when it comes to Waze. So whenever I see a cop or whatever it is, I just had to share it too because, hey, that could have been me back there. And I seen a cop. Sometimes you just want to have fun with your car. Not, I mean, you know, just have fun. Especially if you drive a car like that. Not stepping on the gas to the max, so some people be doing it crazy. If you once you reach a hundred, don't don't try to go for like one one forty, one fifty while um while on the highway. You putting a lot of people uh, other people 
life in danger when you get to that point. And yes, they do have the right to arrest you because imagine if you crash into a car at 1:40 and people switch lane and like a lot. And sometimes people don't even put on the signal to switch lanes, so that's one thing. I would say yes, I do speed, but I don't exceed like I don't know. I don't have I don't have a max, but I just think like if I ever caught myself like doing like 140 or whatever or 130 I I would definitely slow down because you I mean by that time you will feel it. The funny thing about the GTR though, you won't feel it like that unless you pay attention. So that's why I have my speed radar to like alert me like yo you speeding. Anytime I pass like 1 105, 110, if I ever do that, yeah, I always let my um radar cuz it can actually alert you, which is pretty cool. It's like uh you are speeding. You are over there. Oh wait, that's not even my turn. Damn, what am I doing? Oh, it is my turn. I'm like, yo, what the hell? I thought I was that little green. <laughs> uh, you guys didn't see that. You guys didn't see that at all. Yeah, I think we might pick up and take a pause after we reach 20 minutes or whatever. Because you guys already know. I always try trying to keep my videos at least 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Alright, I'm not seeing the map. Where are we going? Oh shoot, missed my turn. It's my turn. Oh, it still let me go. Okay, so I can actually go straight. I like the reroute faster than my freaking GPS. It's like calculating. Reroute. Reroute. <laughs> I'm like, okay, reroute already. All right, so we here. We are here. We are right here. All right, what are we picking up? What you got for me? I'm going to Texas, man. What you got for me? Right. Which one is it again? No. Wait, what happened to the other one? Ah, oh, come on. We we're supposed to be going to Texas. But you know what? This will be a shorter drive. Why not, right? It took over 10 minutes just to get to that location. So I'm. I'm pretty sure it's gonna take about the same time to get over here right now. Um, yeah, let's keep going. Wait, what happened to the other job though? Somebody else took it. I wanted to go to Texas. Come on, man, y'all play me. Y'all play too much, huh? All right, where where's this thing? Yep, I see it. I see it. All right, we're going to load this bad boy and we're trying to get out of here. Oops. <laughs> All right, there you go. So if I take okay. Let's take this turn over here. We cleared our car. Yep. All right. Off we go, guys. Yeah, the truck feels so weird now. Yeah, of course. You you have something in the back now. I've been driving this for a while. I can't wait to actually get to Georgia too. But I know the map is not gonna be different or anything like that. It's gonna look about the same. Can't wait when until American Truck Simulator put like the you know. The Georgia map, like for real, because this is actually a mod where just um I'm not sure if they uh, oh they really like uh, do they like put like real stuff in most of the map? I'm not sure. I feel like I'm still new to American Truck Simulator. Not new to GTA though. <laughs> I actually need to play this more often. And no, the crazy thing is that I don't even play this that much. But I, I know so much mods for it already. It's so crazy. Let's get to the sling. I know so much mods for it already. Like I could change everything on this. But you know what? They made I feel like American Truck Simulator is so mod friendly where they make everything um where you could just drag and drop. You don't have to edit. You don't need no extra files like like we have open IV, we have to do this and that. Nah, it's just drag and drop the um is it SCS or CS file? And you're good. Which is pretty cool. 
pretty cool, man. Let's see. We got a couple hours to drive now. About five hours and 47 minutes. Um, I think we're going to enjoy this ride. Got to get to Texas. Yeah, you see the road a little bit different. Was that my turn? Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. I was just trying to figure out if it's my exit or not. Okay, is he going to stop? Oh, damn it. Oh, I'm going to be pissed right now. Can't really turn. You know what? It's whatever. All right, we're going to take the long way. We're going to take the long way. So it's going to have me go all the way down there and come back. I feel like I'm in Texas right now. Look at the um the highway the way it is. Oh, were you just going to pass me and cut me off like that? Okay, I got you, buddy. I got you, homie. Imagine if we could be the cop on this. But I think the AI like is really dull on this one. Word, that's what everybody's doing to me. All right, so we got to go all the way down there. This is what happened when you miss your exit, guys. This is exactly what happened when you miss your exit. And I like the fact that it, it changed because I had this mod where it changed to different cars and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. And I'm going to have to exit soon. Got to get myself ready. So we got to exit, then come back all the way over here. Did we just add? Yep. We just added, added up to six hours. Wait, wait. How far do we have to go back? Not that far, but that's time taken away from us, man. <laughs> but we should be good, though. We should be good. Any one of you guys like to travel like this? I like to travel like this, but it's just certain states, man. These cops don't play around at all, especially North Carolina, South Carolina. I remember getting tickets from there all the time when I used to do like New York to Florida. Because I would do it like in, you know, X amount of hours. I don't want to say anything because I know you guys are going to be like, damn, Speedy, Speedy Gonzalez. But um, the fact that you got to really slow down is like when you get to North Carolina, South Carolina, you really got to slow down. When you get to Georgia, you got to speed up. So it's it's, it's a little deep. You know, it's, it's different. It's different. So it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool drive. Um. One thing I suggest is you got just make sure you have somebody with you in case you get tired or you're going to have to stop and sleep. Whenever I I mean, last time I trying to do it, I got sick. Yeah, by by getting sick, I mean, that's when I was moving um, down here and I got pretty sick. Like I couldn't drive. I was ready to bring a C63 up there and I don't know. I couldn't handle the road. And it's not the fact that I was sleepy. I think I came down with something. I don't know. Excuse me. I don't remember, but it was just crazy that I couldn't handle that. And I felt like since then I never try again, which is something that I'm definitely going to put some miles on the GTO with. And can you guys believe I already reached 1000 mile on the GTR? So it's um, not really for a service, but this is saying like I, I have to bring it to the Nissan dealer where they're going to um. They probably gonna um, change the stuff to to the way I drive it or whatever. But I can't wait to tune it, um, change everything in that car. But right now I'm just enjoying um, driving it stock. But it's so weird because going to a car show, man, you get like you get all these people that show up with their GTO and they, yours is like stock. I'm like, oh, what what might you done to yours? Oh, I'm like stock. It was like, ah, oh, boo. I'm like, come on, man. You got to enjoy your GTL stock first. Enjoy it for a while. And then after that, you know, start modding it. Uh, I remember just like the um, the MG. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't even mod that. I was thinking about upgrading the the ECU, but I end up saying like, nah, what's the point? What's the point? Because I'm not going to track that car. Um, that was just our daily drive like for for a while. Um, the GTO, yes, it's going to be my daily drive, but there's a lot of things I'm going to do to it. I'm, I'm just calling it my project car. Maybe the next car that I'm going to have is going to be like the extreme project car, meaning I tow it to the tracks and bring it back home. That's it. So if you're going to modify the hell out of your car like that, because I would hate to be driving something like that every day after I modify it. All right, this is our road. OK, this is the exit that we miss. Now we good. We are back on the road and let's see how this thing is going to turn out. Oh, shoot. 
All right. By the way, any of you guys um that are in college right now? What are you studying, man? What are you going for? Oh, any of you guys think about college yet? What are you going for? Did your parents plan for it already? I man, me, I I don't know. I think I, I guess my parent wasn't around like that. So I didn't have nobody to um, really back me up when it comes to college. So I had to make my own. Like, I feel like I start so early, guys. I start at what around 15, making my own decision and stuff like that. Because I mean, it it there was so many things that I had to deal with, especially the fact that my parent wasn't around, mom wasn't around, dad wasn't around. So I had to deal with aunt, um, friend that that's really close to me where I could call them family because they took care of me. I remember the first time I went to um, rent an apartment, <laughs> I was like 14, 15 and it was my old neighbors um, that my auntie used to stay with or whatever because she's they gave her an apartment that she used to chill. I guess me and my auntie kind of like it wasn't working out anymore where she kicked me out. Yep. Your boy was homeless for I mean, you know what? I always try to like my best to, to figure out stuff because by the time not really homeless because she just left us in a freaking apartment by herself. Me and my brother just left us. You running out of fuel? Oh shoot! Gotta find the next gas station. I feel like I tell you guys, I'm always like doing story time. Damn, no gas station anywhere. Yo, that sucks. I wasn't paying attention to that. All right, next gas station. Maybe I might have to reroute a little bit. All right. Um. Yeah, I might have to come here first. I think this one I might not make it. Damn, I was just over there too. All right. Anyway, back to story time, right? Yeah, so I got kicked out at an early age, so I was like, it's so hard to stay motivated at a at a young age, and I know some of you guys might be dealing with that too, because my I mean all my friends wanted to do is chill, party, and just enjoy life. But um, I don't know. I feel like you. I had so much to do, where um I was going to school like every morning, in the afternoon I actually found this um Jewish guy that helped me out as far as work. By the time I got that job, man, I. I felt like I don't know. It was like I was able to buy stuff for myself. I was able to do things. But I mean, no matter what, I was still working that eight hour shift and going to school and doing my homework and take care of my brother, man. So I felt like I got put in the adult world very early, <laughs> very, very early. We're about to run out of gas, man. We're about to run out of gas and I hope I make it over there. Yeah, so it just depends on what you guys got to deal with right now. If you have your parents supporting you, man, you better appreciate that. You better appreciate that because there's some of us out there that that ain't have that, or at least somebody to guide you, um, do stuff like to know if you're doing the right thing, the wrong thing, whatever. Because some people, whoa, cops, cops. I feel like I'm gonna run out of gas, guys. I'm on E. Um, once you're on E, you have about 25 miles to go before you um, run out of gas. So hopefully I'm going to try my best. And there's this trick my dad did, like used to do all the time where he's not pressing on the gas too much. But I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. Does that really work, guys? Does that really work? Because um, he used to like whenever he got a chance to come see me and stuff like that. If we if this ever happened, he would try his best to, best to not step on the gas too much. It's like he will let the car roll. Like, you know, as if you put the car in neutral and just let it roll for a while. Yeah, I don't know. I think it works because we always make it. We always make it. So there's this car that um, this little Nissan Sentra. Yes, yeah, my first car. The gauge, the gas gauge didn't work, guys. The gas gauge didn't work. So you like I would have to always assume how much miles the, I mean, not how much mile, how much gas that I put in. So I know I'll know when is the next time that I have to stop for gas. So that used to be, that used to be one of the fun things. You got to go through all that man, to to appreciate cars nowadays too. Man. And one of the thing I feel like you guys got it so easy is because you guys didn't have to. I mean, some of you guys, because I know most of you guys are like probably my age or younger. Um, 
stick shift, learning how to drop stick shift, like back in the days and stuff like that. I remember they just throw me in a fire. <laughs> I think some of you guys heard that story before. Like they just throw me in a fire. Like, oh, okay, here's the car. Do what you got to do. Figure out how to get it. Like by the time I figure out how to get it moving, I was celebrating so hard, man. All right, this is my exit right here. Oh shoot, yo guys, we might we might get lucky. Yeah, we made it. We made it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Break and step. Um, I mean, stopping and breaking like that sometimes kill your girls too. All right, all right. I'm gonna have to take this stuff, son. Forget it. Forget this stuff, son. I mean, I'm not taking it with me. I'm gonna make sure not to hit it. All right, what's the gas station? Is it on my left? Yeah, I gotta make this left. Oh yeah, I can go straight anyway. All right, so we got this. Yeah, for some of you guys that are going through a lot too, I know I'm always like jumping from subject to subject and stuff like that. But I'm trying to like talk to. I imagine you talking to a lot of people, especially the people that like American Truck Simulator, because you guys already know is, um, I guess, story time. Us just talking. You know, just chilling or whatever. Okay, I made it to the gas station, guys. I made it. I made it. All right, let's figure out what it takes. Oh, uh, it's right here. Okay. All right. Just gotta get my gas right now, and we made it. Wait. Why doesn't show like the green thing over here? Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait, so I got to go like, oh, there's one on the other side. All right. I'm trying to figure out why I can't go to this one. Is it too low for my truck? I would be pissed right now if I hit it. I think it's on the other side. I cleared it. Yeah, it's on the other side. All right, so it's right over here. We should be good. Oh, shoot. I can't believe we made it. All right, press E. Let's fill up our tank. Yeah, man, if you're going through anything right now, man, just stay positive. I'll, I mean, I always tell people like just Try best to stay positive, man. You could be in the worst moment of your life right now. Just keep yourself going. Stay positive. If you need to find that thing that works for you. All right. The tank is I mean, it's full. All right. There you go. Yeah. Just like I say, find that. What happened? What was that? Oh, just me paying for the gas. All right. All right. We are back on the road now. Yeah, just like I always say, find that thing that worked for you, man. Even you never seen like when you get into an argument, like walking away or just you taking a walk helps sometime. Like what if that works for you? That's what you got to do. That's just I mean, I feel like sometimes that's oh shoot. I just realized which way that I just took right now, but that's OK. There's no cops around. I see him. Is he turned? Oh, come on. Oh, shoot. All right, this is going to be hard for me to turn now. Hey, yeah, we still made it. Yeah, find that thing that works for you, man, and get through those moments. Like, I remember either reading, driving, or believe it or not, yes, just me hopping in the car and go for a drive, especially when I'm going through a lot. Or just go somewhere, sit down, relax. Not to a bar, whatever, but. You know, somewhere where you can actually clear your mind and stuff, because trust me, you're going to that tough moment right now. Yes, it's just it's just for that. It's trust me, it's going to be temporary if you're doing something about it. Wait, wait, am I going straight? Yes, I am going straight. You got to think positive. Um, Just as long as you plan on doing something about it, not to stand those situation, because some people just just don't know how to get out or just know how to figure out certain things. Oh, you know what? If it's you dealing with friend, you know what? I I really don't know what problem you might be going through, but if um, I always trying to say, you know, what? just stay positive, just stay positive because <laughs> I was about to go overboard right now. 
But anyway, back to American Truck Simulator, man. Story time. Stick shift. How many of you guys know how to drop stick shift? How many of you guys know how to drop stick shift? I mean, I still enjoy stick shift and stuff like that, but I don't know. It's it's not that I'm I'm I feel like I'm it's not that I'm getting lazy, but especially driving around my area and stuff like oh in New York. Oh my god, I don't know why would somebody own a stick shift in New York. Forget it, you're gonna just keep burning that clutch and stuff. But you know what? Some people just say, yo, I save a lot on gas, this and that. I don't know. My man, my leg used to hurt so much, just okay, this and that. No. I'm not doing it anymore. That's why an automatic is the easiest thing to especially own in New York. Right now, where I am, a stick shift would be like the best thing. But they don't make the GTR. Yeah, it, they don't make the GTR with stick shift. <laughs> is that much? Oh, no, no, that's not a turn. But yeah, I feel like if they did, you know what? But at the same time, who's that? Who will be shifting that fast, man? Have you guys seen like how fast you gotta st shift with the GTR? And if you don't do it, sometimes it just does it for you, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Sometimes it just do it for you, man. That's I mean that thing is a beast. I see you. Why you flash me? For oh, cause I have my high beam on. I still have my high beam on though. Yeah, let's turn that off. Let's just enjoy the road. But yeah, like me, I just I just enjoy driving like this, like. Get on the road, just not a truck. The truck, I don't think the truck would do it for me. <laughs> I gotta stay alert at all time, man. I don't know if that would do it for me. But yeah, um, just like we um I asked you guys earlier, what what type of game you guys want to see on this channel other than GTA? But as far as GTA, guys, I try my best to do different things on GTA. I'm gonna try to bring back EMS. I'm gonna try to bring back the um firefighter mods and stuff like that since they've been working whoa since they've been working on all these stuff and I'm definitely looking I thought green green I mean gangrene was gonna update the mod but he never got a chance to do it so we've been stuck with that and LSCFO is gonna be updated soon guys 0 0.4 can't wait for that can't wait for that where we um I feel like they basically just gonna add all the extra, like the the extra mod that we used to use on the side and stuff like that. So they're gonna add it to that. Um, they're gonna add their own stuff where it's gonna be, especially the arrest mod, the search mod. I'll, I'm happy it's gonna work that way now, where um, you don't have to like sync in your system and stuff like that. Where sometimes it will say like I find this thing on this person, all they licensed, whatever, and then it doesn't work with the dispatch all with police radio and stuff like that. But yeah, all those things might work well now, especially the fact that it's coming from LSPFR itself. And I know Rage Hook, Rage Hook has been doing their best um, to keep us updated. And also meeting Rockstar was like the best because I didn't believe Rockstar. Like I was uh, um, I remember heading to the office, right? Remember what happened last year? Where Rockstar was saying like it's illegal to mod the game, this and that, season like you know with Open IV and stuff. That's why I was kind of like nervous going to Rockstar, but it's not that they welcome um, modding too much because remember we adding real cost to the game, and I hope those companies never try to do anything. But I'm guessing they looking the other way. It's like, oh, you doing that? Okay, it works for you. Okay, but you know what? You should definitely support our online stuff, which is pretty cool. That's why I mean, when I went there, we was playing online. We enjoy those things, and I need to bring back online for you guys too, man. Which is pretty cool. Playing online. Um, the last time I played online is the Doomsday Heist. That remember how many hours it took us to complete that that thing, man? I was I was so pissed by the end of it. I was so pissed, man. This is like a long, long drive. We got an hour and thirty minutes. It's gonna get dark soon, though. But I hope you, I mean you, some of you guys like the long video, so I hope you guys gonna enjoy this. Of course, uh, maybe next time we'll try our best to get to Georgia, but I know it's gonna be another long drive. So we'll see about that. I don't know if I will survive that one. <laughs> Driving all the way to Georgia, and hopefully. Uh, it's gonna look as realistic. Like, damn, this small town looks nice though. What you guys think? Look decent and dead. Yeah, 
That's it? Damn. Yeah, I feel like I do live in a small town though. Not that much store. Everything is like 25, 30 minutes away. You know, about the same way. Sackle. What the hell? And also I did update the mod um the I guess the EMB mod for this. It doesn't look that bad, um, other than the last one that I use. It just look a little bit more realistic. And let me know how you guys enjoying American Truck Simulator. Um it's been a while since we went online because I remember remember when we used to do um the like the convoy online and stuff like that. Maybe we can actually bring those back, but um I'm thinking about streaming on Twitch for this where I can actually invite a bunch of you guys to just, you know, come drive with me on American Truck Simulator. And we'll see. Why are these guys driving so slow? Come on, people. Get out the way. Hey, at least I got about 33 miles left and 50 minutes left. Okay. I could work with that. I mean, we are way past our time, guys. I feel like I haven't uploaded something that long in a while. So why not? Let's enjoy that. And just like I say, definitely let me know what else do you guys want to see. Come on, people. I think I'm going to have to pass him soon. They are driving way too slow. This is so risky what I'm doing right now. Oh, my truck is not. We're going up a hill. That's why it's so scary right now. Damn. Come on. Come on. We could do this. We could do this. Don't tell me another truck is coming. Not yet. Not yet. This is the wrong location to do this. Oh, I cleared it. I cleared it. Whew. That was luck, guys. That was luck. And he stopped. He was like, yo, what is going on over there? These trucks were racing. All right. Let me turn on these lights. I kind of hate when people turn on high beam on me. But I usually, you know what? Oh, shoot. Would the cop give me a ticket for that, too? I know they would give me a ticket for speeding. Sometimes. I was just feeding right now. They didn't even give me a ticket. Come on. We got this. Okay, so we got to take this exit. We almost there, guys. About time. About time. That was a good drive, though. Um, next time, I'm gonna try my best to probably go to Texas or just go somewhere else and see how different the um the map is. Um, coast to, the coast to coast map is pretty cool. I mean, you guys seen it. Just enjoying American Truck Simulator, man. We just discover Clovis. Okay. Just enjoying this. Um, I feel like I I drive pretty. I don't know. I wasn't that crazy today. What do you guys think? I'm trying to look at the cop car. He's making that turn. Okay. Come on. Speedy Gonzalez over here, man. Underly, underly. Come on, man. That's an unmarked charger? Wait, no, 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 that wasn't. Alright, so is this is this is this a town that we dropping off at? I'm not sure yet. We gotta make this turn. Thank you for moving out the way. Cause I was probably gonna crash into you, bro. Yep, thank you for moving out the way. That would be like the worst truck driver ever. But you know what? I'm so cautious when it comes to like driving and stuff, like especially driving something that big. <laughs> I think I would, I would, you know what? Just in the game, I'm the worst driver ever. But in real life, I think I'll be a good truck driver. I would have been a good, a good truck driver. But you know what? This is American Truck Simulator. We do what we want. Sometimes. All right, we gotta make this turn. The police. I like that they have the 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 new vehicles too. This mod is is lit, man. All right, I'm trying to cut through right now. Traffic. Don't hit me, please. All right, nobody's gonna let me pass though. Look at the bike. Okay. All right, I'm taking this one, whether you guys like it or not. Slow down. So, oh, he's turning. Okay, good. Thank you for stopping. 
All right. We are here to make our delivery. We still in New Mexico, by the way. So I thought I was going to get a call for Texas. I mean, uh, at least a trailer for Texas, but we didn't. I drove all the way over there for no reason. But anyway, I'm trying to buy as much garage. Um, once we have garage in a lot of places, um, we could just pawn that instead of having to drive all the way over there. Is that my turn? Yes, it is. Cutting you off, bro. You better stop. You better stop, minivan. All right, we made it. I feel like we share a lot of story time today. Things that happened to me. Some of you guys might be new to the channel. That's why sometimes it, it uh, for some of you guys that are old to the channel. Yes, it might feel like I'm repeating myself, but there are some people that probably not going to watch the old videos to find out these things about me and they are watching the new videos. So, hey, story time, man. You probably say I know some of you guys might be like, oh, I heard that before. I remember you told me that, Steve. Um, You know what? Nah, I'm in a hurry. Cause we've been driving for a long time, man. This might be like one of the longest video ever, man. Okay, so we did it, guys. Um, I hope you guys are going to enjoy this episode. Of course, uh, I'm gonna try to find something around Albuquerque to save, but I might have to drop back over here again. But anyway, guys, this is gonna have to do it for this episode. Also, happy Valentine's Day because I'm recording this on Valentine's Day. Um, and thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.